Hi, so let's talk about sugar. We have been taught that there are different kinds of sugar. Basically, sugar is C6H12O6, and it's found in nature in two different forms that we think of as sugar. One is glucose, and that's blood sugar. It's basically the human's version of sugar. And then there's fructose, which is plant sugar, and they're shaped differently. Fructose is shaped kind of like a spider. Glucose is kind of just shaped like a strand, spinning strand. When you fuse them together, or when they come together, they form C12H22O11, which is basically C6H12O6 and C6H12O6 minus H2O. So one water molecule is lost, the sugars come together and form sucrose, the sweetest of the three. And that's what we think of as table sugar. Sugar itself is the combination of fructose and glucose. Amazing plant. Now, when they, when they take the glucose uh, in the form of starch or something like that, no, actually what happens is glucose, when it's dehydrated, turns into starch and cellulose. But in glucose's main form, it's glucose. But what they do now to form this high fructose corn syrup is they take glucose and they what they call it they, they call it isomerize it, which is basically they take the molecules or the molecule, the glucose molecule, and they move the element the atoms around, but don't take or add anything away. And that's called isomerization. So they take an enzyme like a protein. And they isomerize glucose, and they isomerize it, which I think is, uh, this, this chemical is called glucose 6 isomerizer or something generic. I mean, it's basically, they're, they're kind of like, they don't know what it is, it's just a bacteria, you know, it's, a, it's some comp proton, protein, whatever. When it's applied to the glucose 6, which is C6H12O6, it causes it to mutate into a glucose fructose looking combination and it because of that it tastes kind of like sugar but it's a mutation it's a protogenetic mutation and it's you know if you eat a lot of it you will mutate and people get fat I've, I've noticed is like a big thing obesity from this and now here's my argument it's not fructose. To call it high fructose just because you mutate fructose out of that glucose with the protein en enzoite or whatever um, does not mean it is fructose. It's definitely more sucrose than fructose, but it's not even sucrose. It's, it's a whole other chemical compound, and I think if we start calling it something other than high fructose corn syrup, that people may literally stop thinking that it's good for them. That it's not, it's not fruit. It's, uh, so let's Let's now take a pause, and maybe I'll, maybe I'll edit the video to keep you energized while I read a little bit about the actual chemical compound of high fructose corn syrup to think. What should we call it? The thing is, they, they make it, and they make it so that you either have, what is it, HFCS is how they, they call it. High fructose corn syrup, the technical term is HFCS. They have no fucking, they don't know, they're just like making it. So that HFCS55, which means it's 55% fructose, they take this glucose and they turn it into 55% fructose and like 42% glucose. Uh, I don't know what the other 3% is. Um, probably all the residue and everything. They also can make... Uh, C, I want to keep saying CFHS because that was my high school. Um, HFCS. Hey, it's an isomerization of HFCS. Hi, group, group, group. Um, and uh, they can make HFCS 90, and that's 90% fructose and like, I don't know, 8% glucose or something. 10% glucose. Hey, but it's like super sweet. And that's what they do is they mix uh, HFCS. CS55 and HFCS90, and they come up with HFCS50.
Okay, I'm sorry. I got my facts a little backward there. This is really, this is new to me, so I'm trying to relate it without, um, trying to relate the specifics by just reading them a couple times. It's actually eight, uh, CHF, and plus my high school is CFHS. Um, HFCS 42 is 42%. Uh, high fructose. This information is on Wikipedia too. If you want, if you want some of these specific numbers to get it clear. But what they do is they take the uh, HFCs 42 and the HFCs 90, and they mix them together, and they form HFCs 55. I'm gonna start calling it. Wow, that's such an annoying thing to say over and over too. Which is why it's not a popular topic like on television shows and shit. But the the 55 is what they put in soft drinks, and that's like you know a combination of two kinds of mutagens, and it's like. Eh, eh. The this, the forty. It's like the less the less fructose you make, probably the better. The H F C S ninety is like barely used from what I've found. It's that's probably it's like used for special things, you know, basically to to change forty two into fifty five, and it's probably toxic. You know, it's probably like who knows what it does. Because that so I I, have, I was reading a patent on on one way to do it. And uh, it's to put it in in a noble gas chamber, like with a uh, xenon, krypton, or neon. And uh, so that's probably horrible for you too. I think you know krypton. I think krypton's toxic. I'm pretty sure xenon's toxic. And neon, like if you breathe neon, you're probably not going to last too long. Um, if you breathe a lot of it. And uh, and then the patent also calls for nitrogen. I, I'll link the patent. Um, it says, and if nitrogen is present, it speeds it up. <laughs> it's like, you know, I want to like belly laugh till my heart's content here at 11:30 at night, just like it's so loud. Like, well, nitrogen is in uh, caffeine, which gets its name caffeine from cafe, which is the French word for coffee, because that's where they found it first. It was like in the 1800s in the coffee. They just isolated the chemical itself, the caffeine chemical. But it's got nitrogen in it, and that's part of why it rips away the protein, I think. And I'm trying to figure out why exactly nitrogen, and this is only a fucking few clicks away, which is the beauty of the information age, why nitrogen rips carbon or, or why it causes carbon such a headache if it just, if it pulls neutrons off, out of it, you know, off the carbon. Oh, so get this. There's two types of glucose. Back to the beginning. Let's go all the way back to the healthiest glucose molecule. There's two types of glucose sugar here. There's dextrose, and then there's the other one. And dextrose is what we know as glucose. Basically, if it's glucose in modern day, people will consider, assume it's dextrose. Now, the reason there's two of them is because in nature, some molecules have mirror images of each other. They just exist. And the reason they look mirrored, like polarized in opposite directions, is because they're spinning. And they're either spinning clockwise or counterclockwise. So, and basically, it's always clockwise or counterclockwise to the observer. So, this is the beauty of the 360 bubble that we live in. This is why you can't... I believe that two people can see the same thing. And when you're looking at something... No matter how you're looking at it, if it's the same thing as someone else, you're both seeing the same way. Right? You're both seeing it for what it is. If you're both looking at it at the same time. Observing it. Because it's spinning clockwise, whether you're looking at it from over here or over here, it still looks like it's spinning clockwise. Why it's spinning clockwise, I don't know. Why they, why they're, why... So it's what it's called as dextro-rotatory and levorotatory glucose. Dextro-rotatory glucose is known as dextrose, levorotatory, and dextro is right going right, and levo is going left. To the observer, so to you, it would be like looking clockwise. Um, all sorts of epiphanatic strategy, eh? All right, I, I guess, uh, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm interested in, you, you know how, how, how molecules can just exist in, like, binary, there's a specific phrase for it, uh, when two molecules spin in opposite directions. God, I guess atoms probably could spin in two opposite directions, too. 
This is exciting. Does this excite you as much as it excites me? <laughs> it's exciting. Um, I don't know. It's up here somewhere. Oh, chirality. That's a spin. Fuck it, I'll find it later. There's a reason why they spin. They're called, uh... Maybe I'll edit this out. Look how, look how I'm squinting. You know they're inventing uh, screens that rever like reverberate or have certain frequency that heals your eyes and light bulbs that reverberate a, se a secret frequency. A secret frequency? A secrecy. Well, I guess the name of this video is a secrecy, or should I call it Let's Talk About Sugar?